to Sierra's channel I am currently in the process of moving so if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe so that you can keep up with all of the moving vlogs the apartment hunting vlogs everything home decor that I'm about to put on my channel um, today we're getting this head together because in the process of moving anybody got time to be looking stiff okay I, my, my Bob getting real stiff okay and we, we, we don't like that and if you have a Bob like or have had a bob you know or just short hair in general that once that thing get old there ain't much you can do to it it's not like you could just throw it up in a bun or a ponytail or like it needs to look good all the time so i found myself like washing my hair every like four days or so to make sure it looked right and now that i'm moving i don't i don't want to be bothered with that so we get ready to put a wig on and I, I'm not a hairstylist by any means. Okay, like I, I, I could put some shit together, but I'm, yeah, no, I, I wish I know how I, keep, I wish I went to school um, for cosmetology, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so yeah, we about to put this wig on. Y'all about to see the process. I'm not gonna see all the details. Like I said, this ain't no tutorial because i want y'all to follow along and then y'all be mad with me when y'all head look fucked up when it ain't gonna be my fault because i ain't i ain't tell you to do it i mean if you if you want to you know steal some tips and tricks then go for it but i'm gonna just show y'all the process and see how it goes as y'all as y'all can see y'all already know you already know what's going on under there um i got this um I got this kinky edge lace front wig from Amazon that we're going to be putting on today. We're going to be dyeing it chocolate brown first and then we're going to be cutting some curtain bangs. So if you want to see how the look turns out sis just keep watching. Okay so here's the wig fresh out the pack. As y'all can see it is the kinky straight texture. It does have the kinky edges on it too which is why I got it so hopefully it looks more natural I will say the lace itself is decent it's definitely not HD lace but it's better than some of the other stuff I've gotten like I ordered three wigs okay I ordered because I couldn't decide if I wanted to do a closure or a frontal and I said a settle on the frontal and then I wanted one like I said they had the kinky edges um so this is the one we got this is the little bag it came in super cute i'll leave a link um to it below i think it was like either 100 140 dollars on open something something like that so not like I, I feel like that's affordable ish you know so like i said this is the wig i think it's like 22 inches 22 24 inches um so it look real crazy at the pack real crazy but we're gonna get it together it does have the combs and stuff in it um and this little lace part at the bottom child but it's like it's track song down here why y'all put this lace down here i i don't know i understand um so yeah let's get into it and of course i'm doing the hair in the kitchen are you a black girl if you don't do your hair in the kitchen okay if you don't like it judge my mama because <laughs> we always did hair in the kitchen so <laughs> you a wig head 
and get you a stand because trying to do that flat with that wig was and I knew better than that I knew better and I still didn't do better so that's on me yeah I just left that dye on there so it looked how it looked the color came out decently but as far as the application it's not as good as I wanted it to be but you know it is what it is I did wash it with my Olaplex I was like oh you know how usually people be like oh I'm not gonna use my good stuff on my wigs and stuff I don't need for that thing to be like having all the body okay then for my hair, since it doesn't need to be silky and flowy because it's about to be braided up, um, I always start out, I made this hair oil um, from TikTok. Y'all can see all the stuff that I put in it and I put it in this cute like little syrup, like coffee stand pump bottle um, so I could sit it on my bathroom counter. So one, it would be cute and then to have it out so I remember to use it often. Now it does stink rub it so I can't use it as often as I want to and then plus it's a heavy oil so I usually put it in um whenever I wash my hair for about at least an hour or I'll let it sit overnight this time I did like sleep with it overnight and then I I did perm my edges and that kitchen I got it all because it, it ain't nothing worse than like especially if I would have chosen the closure wig then your shit going back in the wind and then you got these kinks and your hair silky mm -mm. or you try to you know clog clip it in the back child and then girl then you got all the neck uh, uh nope then after i primed it i used the tegan uh rose water shampoo and the leave-in conditioner for the deep conditioner i used this rosemary mint hair mask and then yeah i'm about to braid it down it's gonna be straight backs i i haven't braided my hair this short before so i feel like the edges stay in the back and if not child oh well the wig gonna be on um so yeah let's get into it i want to see if i could try to make this glueless so i could just slap this thing on and off i don't know if it's gonna work but i'm gonna try but like i said if i'm gonna do that then i need to probably cut this bit off and then I'm probably gonna leave some of my like hair out on the side right here. Okay. See y'all, do y'all see the vision now of what I'm trying to do? Like, I left this little bit of edges out here. And then I'm gonna take the little elastic band and sew it to this little part under my ear right here. And I'm gonna pull that tight so it can lay as flat as it's gonna be. And then I can comb this little bit of edges back to kind of cover it a little bit there. So it looks more seamless. Listen, man, I already even got you a dive. <laughs> Bad thing, fine as hell, thick as fuck, oh my God. That's my baby, Caroline, you divine, mighty fine. Shorty, really blow the pie, like a pro. And see, this is why I perm my edges. I know you think it's here. Why would you get a kinky edge wig and then perm your edges? I don't know. But <laughs> I just thought it would look more realistic. And honestly, high key, I feel like I didn't cut most of the new ones off. I feel like I didn't cut most of the kinky edges off the new wig. So don't, again, don't, don't do like me because I don't know what you're about So do this at your own risk. You wanna cut off your, these little ear tabs over here and leave some out, then you do that. But if you fuck it up, it's not on me. That's all I'm gonna say, it's not on me. Okay, so y'all see this little piece here where this band is attached? I'm gonna cut it right here after where it's sewn. And then I'm gonna unhook this out. And then I'm gonna take that piece and I'm gonna sew it to that little ear, where the ear tab was over here that I measured. Um, and then that way it's gonna give it a tighter pull like closer to the front rather than in the back.
Okay, y'all, so I plucked the good. Um, <laughs> so now I'm about to take this uh, Sally Hansen airbrush leg um, makeup. I feel like years ago I got this because I saw somebody put it on to like tip their lace. Or maybe it was for something else. I don't know, but it's still a lot in here. And this is what I use and this is what I like. So I'm going to spray this on here. And again, I know it's going to be all up in my hair. It's going to be all up in my hair, but it washes out. Just like makeup. So much up. So. Real Rose team, they're having a brunch today in event in Atlanta. I'm like, not that I know of, but let me go check my email. And um, she checked her email, same thing. We both responded back and we were trying to see if it's too late to RSVP. I mean, it's been two and a half hours, but can we still go? straightening it um i think the hair straightens pretty well um the ends if i was wearing it straight i'd probably cut the ends so it'd be blunt but i guess it's giving all natural <laughs> on the ends but i feel like it's straightened pretty good like it still has that like kinky straight texture that more realistic like black girl hair texture and it's not it doesn't have that like fake luster to it which i like um but I feel like I could still probably get it flatter. So I might go back in with the flat iron. Or maybe I just tie it down or something. Because I don't mind like this part up here. Like with the flyaways and stuff. Because I feel like that also like when I straighten my natural hair. I have all these flyaways at the top. So that doesn't bother me. Bother me. I don't want it to be like super flat. Because then I feel like then your part is more noticeable. So I kind of want. I would like even like judge it up a little so it distracts from the part girl because even though you know we left our edges out for it to look more natural it's still gonna be a wig i don't know why people be like what lace maybe that lace like even if it's the good lace we can still see that it's lace so i feel like at this point everybody wears wigs like that's not something that you need to be embarrassed about like wear the wig because you know why you have it on um protective style hello but it's also like just do it to where people be like oh girl that's a that's a cute wig like i would take that as a compliment oh girl your wig is cute well i mean depending on who it come from because you know some people have be trying to be funny but yeah so i feel like as long as it looks like oh that's a good wig like it could be like realistic it's okay but all of that what lace baby this lace you ain't see that just Anyways, so, yeah, I think I'm about to go ahead and cut the bangs, so, yeah. Child, I can't believe I've been doing this the whole time without no lip gloss on. How you gonna go put mascara and do your eyebrows and then not put no lip gloss on? Hold on. You get tired of me moving, don't you? Nigga sleep, I ain't trippin', I'm a little Just pulled up in the hood again with some new paper tag Got your girl in the passenger seat, she agreed to a one night stand Don't talk to your bitch I feel like it's gonna look good when it's curled Cause I'm gonna do a little Ooh. And now we just gotta see if we can get the other side to match That'll be the thing Oh, 
So this side not as easy to cut as the other one. I did that other one in one swoop. It's because I'm not both of you. You know how you have your little flyaways or like your little your broke off edges? Yeah, gotta cut that part too. So this is the final look. I wish the curls were like bigger and looser. They'll eventually fall. I mean, they're cute. They're cute, I like them. Um, but I wish I had a bigger barrel um, flat iron or a curling iron. But they're cute, I like it. It's different. I've had bangs before, but you know, not like long curtain bangs and I think it, I think it's cute. I like the color. I was going for something a little lighter. I guess in the front, like the undertones here, you can see are kind of light. Um, so I like that it has a little dimension. I just wish I did it more throughout. And y'all remember when I told you to dye your hair on a wig stand? Look at this. Can y'all see that? This little patch. Child, I just, it looked worse when it was straight. Since it's curled, I guess it's not as bad, but yeah, so. Hey y'all, I just wanted to interject really quickly and show y'all that I did make some changes to the hair. I re-dyed it to make it the color that I actually wanted it to be. I also cut the bangs a bit more. They were kinda in my face and too long, so I did cut them. Most of the time, you know, when I'm going out about the day they kind of get pushed back but you know for the most part they are still there i did cut the hair a lot shorter i was watching chelsea janae's vlogs and for vlogtober and she had this like blunt cut like lob and i was like oh that's real cute so i was like chop chop cut all of that off and i think it looks 10 times better so i just want to give y'all a quick update to show y'all and give y'all encouragement that if you want to start doing your own hair because getting your hair did is expensive so just buy you a little cheap wig and test it out you can cut it color it do whatever try a bunch of different styles and it's not permanent it's not your hair so you know just try to do it but i'm gonna let y'all get back to the previous clips that i ran but i just wanted to show y'all how the hair actually turned out in the end so yeah and i think it'll be cute too like i said since i'm moving um just you know throw the bangs out claw clip claw clip it up you know what i'm saying like mm, that'll be real cute but they claw clipped up out of the way like real messy but you know if it messes up then it's supposed to look messy anyway. I like it. I think it's cute. Okay. 
thanks for watching if you made it this far well you better have made it this far because i mean this is the end result it's the whole reason you watch and if you skip to get to this part i mean i've done it too so. but yeah thanks thanks for watching um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like and give me a comment and let me know if you want to try this style um what color you would do if you just stick to black if you like the curtain bangs or not like is that something you know that you don't want to try and the best way to try it is on a wig and not your hair so yeah and if y'all do try it tag me like in your instagram let me know like or leave a comment if y'all try it leave a comment of like your instagram so we can like all of us can go like and be nosy and see how you look <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching guys um i'll see y'all in my next video mm -hmm. you see me